I'm Jim and I'm Sasha and we are a father-son duo on season 21 of The Voice and we just made it into the semifinals. All along it was a feeling A cold sweat of believing I threw my hands in the air and said Yeah, it feels like every um, since the blind audition, like every time we've moved forward in the competition, it's equally as shocking. <laughs> and um, stated. Uh, every time it's so unexpected and every time it just kind of happens and then we're pushed into the next round and it happens again and again and again. And it's this like fast process that's filled with so many ups and downs and so much stress, but also so much joy. And so it's been a lot and it's been a long process, but it's also it also kind of flew by because of how intense it's been. Oh, it was amazing. And to see in our own hometown, they had a huge watch party with over 300 people. And uh, there is a tremendous amount of support that comes out on every platform. And also you get other types of feedback because different fans have their different favorites and they may not always understand how the show comes together. And so we're kind of like immune to any negative feedback, but um, we're just having fun uh, and doing the best we can. And because uh, our particular um, journey here is, you know, we're growing a lot. So it may be that they see lots of differences between one performance and the other. And then as it went into the lives, um, it's nice that, that that the family coincided on the second show of the lives, I think it was, because um, we got to do the Credence tune, which they, I believe, selected is my understanding. It all happened so quickly and then we're on to the next thing. But the support we feel from the fans and and even those who, um, you know, take the time to say, hey, you know, this wasn't as good as last time. What's going on? <laughs> the fact that they're listening is all that matters. So we, we love it. We love this music that we're, that we're singing. And of course, we've always sung together all types of things. We're also each songwriters on our own path. So, and every now and then, like Sasha, Sasha did a John Lennon uh, bus live stream and sang harmony on stuff I'd written. And every now and then I'll, I'll play along with something he's written. So. What's fun is this show provides the perfect setting for us to collaborate on all different kinds of music. And that's why we're growing, I think, um, and, and finding new experiences, especially as we look forward to a duet with one of the other contestants coming up Monday. Um, but I think um, the, the quality of the songwriting is definitely reflective of the type of thing we both aspire to and may be able to have a chance to record a single or, or more someday. We've definitely, you know, learned to work with each other and we've become really good at collaborating and kind of gotten to the swing of things of figuring out songs and arrangements and um, just making a stressful process enjoyable and having fun and um, definitely because it's kind of it's an insane experience that nobody else really like most people wouldn't really understand it unless they're experiencing it firsthand so we both get to have this insane out of this world experience <laughs> together. So um, it's nice in that way. Yeah, this is one for the history books. It's so unusual. The nice thing is, as we look just across the hall or across the stage, we see all our friends going through a similar type of experience. It's nice to see a girl named Tom have each other as family. Um, uh, different contestants are always on, on their phones, you know, connecting with their family. And sometimes we get to even jump in on those calls. So it does, there's a family atmosphere here that lends that kind of support. And we have, our, our relationship has been strengthened by that, that larger context of, of feeling that love and, and knowing that everyone's kind of going through some of the same stresses. Yeah, it's like, I think it's, it's a really unique position to be in because it's so, it's never happened um, to have groups get this far in the show. Um, so it's really kind of, it's been, a reminder of I, how hard we've worked and how well we've worked with one another um because that's how we got here because I don't think it is easy going into like an intense week with learning a song and setting it like you know what I mean like as a duo because it's at sometimes it makes it easier because you have the like collaboration aspect and other times it's harder because you have to arrange a song in a completely different way so I think it does make it a lot more special and as hard as it can be, I think we're able to look at the fact that we're here and be proud of that. I think this show totally gave me 
um, a lot more confidence in myself musically. It was like kind of, um, you know, confirmation that I have what it takes when a lot of my life I felt like I really didn't. And throughout the course of the competition, I've doubted myself a lot and doubted our ability to move on. And the fact that we're here now in the semifinals kind of proved that wrong. So I feel like from being on the show, I'm going to take um, a lot of kind of like a newfound confidence from it. As I watch back some of the performances, and I haven't watched all of them, but I'm always reminded, or I'm, I always notice that while I'm playing or moving from harmonica to a little riff or coming in on a solo, and when so on the songs when Sasha is not playing, I'm aware that he moves on the stage, but I don't always see what he's doing. And then I watch the performance and I'm just struck by how fun it is and how much that helps me um, in the sense that it makes the act, what we're presenting so much fun often for, for people to watch. Even if I'm missing a note or singing a little out of pitch, there's Sasha like, you know, owning the stage and totally having fun. Um, and I'm having fun too, but I have even more fun when I get to see what I missed. You know, he walks behind me and I don't see some gesture and then I'm, I'm watching it back later. I'm thinking, oh, that was so fun. And no wonder they clapped, you know, like half, half of the fun is just watching that happen. And then what was interesting is then doing the, doing the song Stay where we were both very still. Um, as, so that, but that's been such a joy for me to see how, how well he does that and how, how, how much it helps us. And so uh, that's just a, a new experience for me to enjoy. I think we kind of just are, we tend to take it week by week, I think. And we take every week as a separate challenge and a separate win, which for me, I think that's the way to do it. Although we, everybody wants to reach that finish line. The, one of the greatest reminders I got from the show, and I've been in that learning space before, but it's just a constant reminder, like, what do you need to do next? Just focus on the next thing. And, you know, is that sleep? Is it memorizing one part of one song? Just put one foot in front of the other. And really that is, that's the ultimate lesson for anyone aspiring to a career, even a, whatever the job is. Um, it's sort of especially important for musicians and artists because there's always the vision, but then there's, you know, you need to walk, you need to, you need to live each day. And the show is like, you know, it's very tempting to look down the road and say, oh, there's a lot of pressure and the big, you know, who's going to win. And, but yeah, she's reminded us we've already won and we're already um, we're getting that lesson of one step at a time uh, under our belts. And that's what's brought us so far. I think the more we do that, um, the more we have a chance to be there at the finale, which we would love to be, and everyone here deserves to be, but only four or five or whatever it is, six people will five. be there. Five people will be there for the last show. I intend to be there because we love doing this and we just love every minute. We want to soak up every second of it. Sasha, like, how do you feel? Because again, it's like you're getting not only support from the show, but you're getting support from kids that may want to go through, like going through what you're going through. Is that, is that an added pressure? Or do, and do you end up having to have those conversations with some of your fan base along with your music fan base? Yeah, I think that it is. Um, I think it, there's definitely like a, uh, pressure in that aspect of like, you know, being someone that people may look up to, but it's also kind of, you know, a motivation to get through it as much as it is a pressure. It's a reason why we want to make it as far as possible. And I want to set an example for people and young kids who might have dealt with the same things that I dealt with at their age. And so I'm really, but yeah, it is like a tall order to be a potential role model like that. But I think it's also really, I'm really thankful that I get to have that opportunity and be that person. Um, fans can follow us at Jim and Sasha on Instagram and vote for us on the voice official app or on NBC.com slash voice vote on Monday. Hi, I'm Jim. I'm Sasha. And, and you've, you've just, just been, been buzzed. buzzed.